So this is just going to be a quick video. Um, I have a Catalyst 9K in my lab and I'm going to be upgrading it. So I'm going to just do a quick video on upgrading. Um, I noticed that I had a very old version of code, whatever came on the box. Um, and in this case, I'm just going to use a SolarWind TFTP server and uh, upgrade it. This isn't the most complicated video. I have a console connection into it. So I'm just going to go through a couple things real quick. So if you're, you're using... Um, like if you're doing a remote uh, install, for example, TFTP is fine. If you're just doing it like you're directly connected to the switch and doing an upgrade. If you're in production, though, and it's sitting out somewhere remotely, you probably want to use something like FTP. In my case, I just like using the SolarWinds TFTP server. Um, it's actually really easy and quick to use. Um, uh, FTP would be a little bit different if I was using that, but... If you decide to upgrade using the TFTP server, a um, couple things you just want to know. Um, it'll be really slow for some of these bigger files unless you change the block size. So I go in and I just do, you know, IP TFTP block size, and then I change it to the max, which is 8192. And in this version of code, um, it does support some in, uh, install commands. So I'm going to use the install command of uh, install add file. And I'm going to use TFTP, this is my TFTP server IP, and copy the file name. And if I do activate, it's going to, that means it, here I'll just, uh, so activate means to install the package. And if you, if I do, um, so I'm going to, and it, it after it, uh, downloads it from the TFTP server, it would, should uh, install it and reboot immediately. So we're just going to go ahead and do this really quickly, and I'll mute this while it goes through and does a download. So as you can see, the download actually uh, finished, but for in this case, uh, the activate combo operation is not yet supported. So that's not a problem. Um, it's supported in version 16.6.2 .6 and later. So let's see what the version is really quickly. Okay, so I'm not quite there yet. So we'll use the install uh, from the file. So let's go ahead and do dir and make sure that that file downloaded right there. So we're going to use the install command really quickly. So to install this, let's go ahead and do request platform software package install switch all. We're going to use the file flash and watch it install from here. So let's take a look at the version now. Show version. Hey, what happened? Our switch version hasn't changed. Well, that's because we actually have to do a reboot. So I'm gonna do show boot. I'm gonna write everything in memory and reboot. Reload. Oop. So I'm going to reload now and we'll watch it uh, install from uh, while it's rebooting.
And as you can see here, as it's parsing, you can see that it's uh, using the new config file 6605 as opposed uh, to the version before, which is 6501. 6605. So it's going to continue to install. I'll probably speed up this uh, the part of the video just so you don't have to watch this. But um, yeah, it does take a few minutes for the uh, install to finalize. All right, let's go ahead and take a look now. It looks like it's up and running. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my username and password. And let's do a show version really quickly. Yep, now we're at 665. So with that, I'm gonna finish this video. Um, not really else much else to do here. I'm next video. I'm going to do the NetFlow configuration for the Catalyst 9K and um, ET turn on ETA as well. Um, the only reason I did this video is because there are slightly different uh, uh, commands for in install upgrading the code. Now, for the it, as of uh, 662, you don't really need to use Request Platform anymore, though. Um, so. You can, can still use some of it, it, but now it would be install, you know, install, you know, you would do an install file and blah, 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 and, and you'd be able to actually upgrade this code separately. Install, activate, yeah, it's install, activate file, and then I'd be able to actually specify the file instead of having to go through a request platform software package, install, switch, all, file, flash, is the, the original uh, command that I used before, kind of a mess, and you have to, not really something that rolls off the tongue. This is a little bit easier as of 662. You can just do install, activate, file, and if you have the file already saved on, you can do it that way. So in this case, it would be... Um, install, activate, file, you know, flash, and you could also set an abort timer if it takes too long. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this video, and thank you so much for watching.